Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. My name's Rayanne, and I'm going to talk about Harpoon, which is a Dread Central release, October 1st, 2019, so please keep your eyes open. The story centralizes around a group of three people. There's really only three people in the entire movie, other than some, some storytelling bits. We have Jonah, who recently lost his parents. Richard, who is his best friend, he's very well off due to daddy's money, and Richard's girlfriend, Sasha, who is a nurse that they keep bringing up the fact. So Richard intercepts some text messages between Jonah and Sasha that allude to maybe they had some sort of affair going on and busts into Jonah's house, well, his parents' house, as they are recently deceased and he's trying to clear everything out and just beats the life out of him. He is stopped when Sasha busts in and breaks up the fight. So to remedy this, jo um, Jonah agrees to go out on Richard's boat with Sasha for a one, one day trip just to blow off a little steam. They kind of have an even Stevens deal where because Jonah had the crap beaten out of him, he gets one punch on Richard and also Sasha gets one punch on Richard. They allege that the text messaging that Richard construed as cheating was about them talking about getting him an early birthday present, which is a harpoon. The title. So, <laughs> as you do with any movie that's interesting, of course, it does turn out that they were cheating together and Richard freaks out because he's very well known for a horrible temper. They get in a huge blowout fight where people are just hitting each other with bottles of alcohol, getting harpoons shot in their hands, and then suddenly the boat doesn't work. They are literally stranded in the middle of nowhere, no supplies, no weapons, nothing, just like a plastic Tupperware container that they're trying to conserve water in, trying to reach the Coast Guard, trying to reach anyone. I was going to leave it off there. So pretty much we know that all three characters, there's a lot of turmoil between them and it is heightened by uh, Jonah having gotten injured, um, is possibly going into sepsis during the whole thing and they're trying to figure out how they can survive, how Jonah can survive, how they can get out of there. They recount different stories of survival, some fiction, some non-fiction, try to figure out what they could actually do. What did I like about this movie? I like that this is both dark humor and, and it is comedy. There is a decent amount of gore, which I was surprised. A lot of it is just that tight shot. The kind of camera work that you really wish would cut away to other people, but it's just completely focused on what's happening and it is hard to watch. That's great. I think more movies need to do that. I thought that the practical effects were gorgeous, just beautiful, so good. The blood looked great. The wounds looked great. The fact that someone had some sort of, you know, they did their homework with their medical knowledge to understand how uh, infection would spread and ultimately what will happen. That was really cool. I do have a medical background, so I was like, yeah, that, that's not that far off. Yeah. Um, I thought the acting was great. Just the way the characters interacted with each other was really believable. And there's one scene where Richard's having a freak out in the car and just spazzing and punching things. And that's me in traffic. And I just, that, that, that me, I felt that. So move on to dislikes. I felt like the pacing was pretty good for the most part. Some of it, I feel like they could have just chopped a little bit, but honestly, it wasn't that bad. I've seen a lot worse and it really, the pacing was decent. If I had to pick a dislike, it would probably be that. Um, the little twists and turns in it, some of them were interesting. Some of them I was meh, you know, the end, the end was so good. It was great. I love that there was a narrator and there were different acts that were, you know, title cards and everything in it. That was really cool. I would probably rate this, I give it like a 3.5 out of 5. It's not my typical horror movie. It's more 
you know, suspenseful and there's not a lot of gratuitous killing or violence in it. There is some gratuitous violence in it, but I'm just a gore hound and that's what I gravitate towards. But I think this is a great solid movie and I think a lot of people would enjoy it. I think the groom would definitely enjoy it. So once I get a, a physical copy that's not a screener, I will definitely try to get him to watch it with me. But have you seen this? Have you watched the trailer? Please watch the trailer. Let me know what you think. Keep your eyes peeled for October 1st when it is released. If you did like the video, please like the video. Um, hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can also leave a comment with what you thought about the premise of the movie. I don't know that I've seen too many movies like this subscribe if you haven't yet. I'd love to have you. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. My solo as well as reviews with the groom are available in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their amazing creators as well. We love them. And uh, I'm gonna... I can't think of anything witty to say, so harpoon! Bye guys!